brilliant, phenomenal, awesome, relentless, excellence. We all want to be described as these words, right? Well, how is it that some people choose to accomplish all of these things that we say and some people choose to be mediocre and there's some people that's barely even scratching the surface? There's not much difference in between those two and it all starts with these tips that I'm going to give you guys today to make excellence a habit in your life. But before we get into the antidote, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell to always get notified when I drop a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and even drop a comment in the comment section let's get into the antidote well today's topic is going to be based off of motivation the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way that's right we talking about making some change today that's right we, we want you guys to to tweak a little bit in your life i don't want you to do like a complete 180 well some of you guys need to but sometimes you need that subtle that subtle little tweak to get you from good to better, to great, to excellence, to unstoppable. And that's all starts with being uh, excellent. So today we're gonna talk about giving you guys tips to make excellence a habit. And I know some of you guys are thinking, Marcus, I'm ways away from excellent now. I got some issues, I got some skeletons, I got some things I gotta work on. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you some tips to help you get there. Because I promise you, if you make these little necessary tweaks, you'll be on your way to excellence in no time. But in order to realize what excellence is, you got to define it. So the definition defines excellence as the quality of being outstanding or extremely good. Some similar words is distinction, quality, high quality, superiority, brilliance, and greatness. Let me ask you, are any of those words in your vocabulary? Do any of those words fit you? If not, we gonna get into the antidote and talk about how to get it in there. So let's get into the antidote. Today's topic is based off of persistence. It's a noun meaning hard work, rising from failures, achieving success through trial and error. You're gonna fail over and over again. But if it was easy, everybody would do it. Now dust yourself off and get back to the grind. What up, Barbie Hanley, my sister from another mister. You better make sure you spell my name right. It's M-A-R-K-I-S-S-S. -S -S. Put some respect on that name. <laughs> it's got to be pretty far. All right, we're going to talk about tips to make excellence a habit. And the number one tip we're going to talk about to make excellence a habit is to work on your craft daily. Be relentless. Gosh, relentless is such an awesome word. I love that word relentless because it, it just screams by any mean necessary. It just screams no excuse. It means nothing will stand in your way. It means no matter how many times you get beat down, if your eye is on the prize, if you are destined for greatness, there is absolutely nothing that will stop you. If there's anybody out there that feels me on that, do me a favor and type that in the comments. To, type in excellence in the comments if you believe excellence if you strive for greatness on a daily basis on I'm, I'm talking when I say daily basis I mean daily even when you on your off day even when it's on a Sunday you're consistently striving for greatness by any means necessary I will tell you what you don't want to hear excellence takes time it takes a whole lot of time like like a lot of people say I don't get time for that and stuff let me check you. you make times for the things you prioritize the things in your life that you want and excellence is something that you want to be be don't you want to be known for being brilliant don't you want to be known for being superior I, I truly don't think that when we talk about this a lot in the dose house when God was up there messing around with his little Rubik's cube of awesomeness and he was creating your DNA I don't think for a moment he said let Jeff Baker be average. <laughs> let's create Terry LaPierre mediocre. <laughs> hey, Janelle, let's just put you in there to fit in with everybody. I just don't think that that was happening. You know, in, it, in that Rubik's Cube, he was like, I'm going to plant some seeds inside of you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some paths and some obstacles along your way. And it's up to you to figure it out so you can become excellent and brilliant and awesome. You know, I don't think that, that especially for people in the dose house, if you come into the dose house, you come in to get the antidote, the medicine that's taken or given to counteract the particular poisons in your life. Because the poisons is what's, is what's holding you back. When you get, when you get injected with those poisons, and I'm I'm talking about the social poisons. I'm talking about the digital poisons. I'm talking about all the obstacles in your way, those type of poisons. When you get injected with that poison, you have the option to get what's called the antidote, but some people, they never search for the antidote. They just would rather stay poisonous and lethargic and average and mediocre. I'm talking to all the people out there that want to be excellent. You seek the antidote daily. You persevere. You push past any obstacle that goes in your way. You know that is going to be tough. You've anticipated this along the way. You've prepared yourself for this and you know that it's going to be mentally draining but somehow you figured out the strength to keep 
ongoing. That's the people that I'm talking about right now. If you know somebody like that, that's excellent, that's brilliant, that's awesome, do me a favor and tag them in this post. Now, let me ask you this. There's a person that just went through your head right now. What is the difference between you and that person? I'll wait. Zach per tweet. Hallelujah. I love that guy. He's awesome. <laughs> Tip number two, persist through trial and error. This is the big ticket item. You have to do this thing called adjust. And there's a lot of people out there that do not want to adjust. They just want to fall into the trap. They want to fall into, into the fact that this is the way things are. These are the type of people that say, well, that's just how it is. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Absolutely not. You have to adjust there. See, the thing about people that's in performance-based businesses like us, like, like the reason we get into this business is because there is no salary cap is because we truly believe in this thing called excellence. And the excellent people always keep their brain turning to try to figure out things that the people who aren't successful don't want to figure out. See, see, when they come into those roadblocks, they say stuff like, yeah, it just is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. There is always something that you can do about it. You don't believe me? See, see, think about this for a second. If you're in sales right now, you're in a commission-based business, if you're like a car salesman or a realtor or an insurance agent or door-to-door -door salesman, whatever you are, if you're in that kind of performance-based business, you, 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 you created this thing called an average, right? You, you, how many average things you sell in a month or how much average money you make in a month or in a year or something like that. There are a lot of people out there who strive for greatness, but when they come into those roadblocks, that their inner their inner self, their, their average, their mediocrity that just tries to ooze out of them, it calls them to stop. But you know what? There's a few excellent people out there. I say two people's names. One person's name is Ali Rita and the other person's name is Frank Craniti. They figure something else out that's inside of them that prevents them from being average or mediocre. They truly believe that excellence is more of a mindset and, and figuring out things and overcoming things more than anything. See, see, most people that get into these type of businesses, they say, I, I just want to make six figures and I'm cool. These people said, man, if I was making six figures, I wouldn't be doing this business. I need to be bumping on up to seven figures. That's the difference between the excellent people and the mediocre people. And the people, the reason they got that way is because they persisted through trial and error. You think they didn't have the same obstacles that you have? You don't think that they had the same worries and trouble that you have? They the only difference between you as them and you and them is they didn't give up with continuing to figure out a way around it to make the impossible possible. They don't believe in things called the impossible. They have an infinite mindset that says, no matter what, I will continue to grow this thing. No matter what obstacle comes in my way. Come on, obstacle. I can't wait for you to come in my way so I can figure out a way to get around you. Mr. Zach per tweet one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And last but not least, number three, remember, somebody else will always do what you don't want to do. Let me tell you, there are people out there that is dying to take your lunch money. These bullies out here, these people that come in the game with so much, so much confidence, so much strength, so much, so much just they, they have this daring mindset that, that they just don't care about anything that's in their way. They will get what they want by any means necessary. It doesn't matter how they get there. And every time you tell yourself, every time you fixate your brain and wrap around your brain to say something like, I'm too busy for that or I don't have time for that, or I don't want to do that, or that's too hard, or that's too much work, or maybe it's not worth it. Worth it. Think about this. There is somebody out there that, that excellence just exudes through their veins. Every day they wake up, excellence is at the forefront of their mind. These are the people that write their goals down every day. These are the people that stay consistently focused on, on, on and being determined to be excellent. These are the people who figure out consistency under stress. These are people that can handle any obstacle that comes their way. This is... These are the people that every time they 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 ex they reach exhaustion or failure, they take a deep breath and they get right back to it because they know that they have a little bit more left in the tank all the time. There are people out there that choose to have an optimistic mindset as opposed to a pessimistic mindset. There are people who are relentless and by any means necessary, they will take your lunch money right now. 
They are preying on you. They are hoping and wishing that, that, that you just continue to be mediocre and stay set in your ways and, and still be indecisive and still make comments like, well, I was going to do it, but, or man, I know I need to get on my game. There are people that's out there taking all your lunch money and you are taking them. The thing about it is we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We are all given the same opportunity. We all have similar resources. It's what you do with that resource. It's what you do with that mindset that determines if you're going to be excellent or not. The choice is yours. When I woke up at 345 this morning, I made the choice right then and there that I wasn't going to hit the snooze button and today was going to be great. I'm not thinking about the short term. I'm thinking about the long term. I'm thinking about the legacy. This ain't about today or tomorrow or 2020. This is about my last name. That is the kind of fire, energy, and effort excellent requires every single day. Let me tell you something. Rent is due and the only way to pay your rent is to hustle. Zach per tweet. Zach per tweet. Hallelujah. I just can't. I, <laughs> I don't know what other way to say it, man. Excellence is in every single one of our veins. You just got to get the blood flowing. You got to get the juices going. And the only way to make that happen is by action. Do me a favor. Tag somebody that needs to hear this message right now. There is somebody that is so sleep in 2020, beginning of the year. There is somebody out there that, that created all these goals. Well, really, they weren't goals because they didn't even write them down. They didn't formulate a plan of action. They didn't have to think about they would have to sacrifice. They didn't think about the reward at the end of it. They were just talking, talking and yapping, and it was just a dream and a wish. But they thought it was a goal, but don't worry. I can help them out. And they need to hear this message, so please tag them in this video. Here's the deal. Let's go through the recap because I noticed some people fastly late. If you're new to the Daily Dose, man, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and get your antidote daily. Number one, work on your craft daily. Every single day. That's not what that says. Yeah, it is. Okay. Work on your craft daily. I'm, I'm very curious how many people actually work on their craft every single day. Every single day. Like, do you dedicate yourself to your craft and, and to, to trying to get to a place that's excellent? Do you constantly try to figure out ways to grow your brain? Are you continuously, relentlessly trying to get better? Or are you sitting there waiting on things to happen as opposed to creating things? Just a little bit curious. Be honest with yourself. You can lie to me all day, but you can't lie to yourself. Results don't lie. Number two, persist through trial and error. You're going to come to these roadblocks. Some, the police going to put that little spike strip down when you're going 150 miles per hour. And what happens when those tires start to burn and when that, that, that rim hits that concrete? Your response to what happens after that chooses to whether you're going to be excellent or not. And last but not least, number three, understand that if you don't, somebody else will. There's people out there with a target on your back and they will they will come up behind you, take your wallet, push you down, step on you, and keep on walking if you choose to let them. Or you can join the excellent club and walk alongside of the greats. The choice is yours. Check this out. If you want to, uh, you know, hit me up, check out social links and stuff like that, or maybe even buy some merch to help support your boy, I greatly appreciate it. Head on over to marketstone.com. Uh, it's a pretty cool website, but if not, you know, I got other social links. I got the Twitter, I got the Facebook, yeah, I got the, the Instagram and all that. Be sure to check all those out, but head on over to the Daily Dose store and get yourself some swag so you can rock the dose. But, uh, you know, the best way to catch me is live Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone. Search for The Daily Dose uh, Show on Facebook. Be sure to hit the like button uh, to, to join the Dose community. Hit the three dots underneath it. Change your notification settings. And make sure you follow and see first so you can always get your antidote. But... If you're always checking this out on the replay because you come fashionably late, YouTube is the best way to do it. I usually drop it in the comments section about 20 minutes after the show's over. I got to edit it down. Uh, the average runtime is about 10 to 12 minutes. You get straight to the antidote. And if you want to check out some of the archive episodes of the Daily Dose Show, I got some straight fire in there. So be sure to subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the outro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today. Your Daily Dose of Positivity, Inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button. I'd like to thank Linda and Barbara for waking up at 4.30 a.m. on the Mountain Standard Time to check out the Daily Dose show. I highly appreciate you guys. I do what I do from the heart, and I don't expect nothing in return. Just a few shares to try to grow this community. Thank you guys for tuning in with me every day. Y'all have a fantastic Monday. I do what I do from the heart, baby. Y'all have a great day. Peace.